Not knowing what to expect, we travelled through the Never, and after a long journey to the core, we finally arrived. We knew we were not the first players who had made it to the core, as we had seen photos from the past, but we did not expect to see what we saw. As we stepped on the blocks at the centre of the core, there lay a sign, one we had seen all too many times before, Rat Gang. And other than this sign, the land looked untouched. Why had players gone all the way to the core and done nothing? The Rat Gang's only mark on the server was a sign, and with that gone, there was nothing. We had prolonged their memory, thinking they were would be a threat, but in reality, we had nothing to fear. We had plans, and we would leave our mark on the server, one which would last. We knew the core would be a big target for players, and by claiming it, it was as good as putting a large bounty on each member of Pest Control. This is why we planned to build out of Obsidian. Although expensive, it allowed us to build out of a material which could not only be exploded or mined quickly. We set our sights on the end to obtain the building material, placed a beacon and set about mining each obsidian tower. After a long session, we had the building material and could finally start our tower to mark the centre of the core. The blueprints were designed and the tower was made being able to be seen far from spawn. It was during this time the ad invasion happened. The server owner, Elira, put advertisements on Reddit, boosting the number of daily players from around 30 to well over 500. The great influx of new players was something us older players were not used to, and we knew we had to finish our core building before more players would reach level 60. We set about flattening the rest of the core and planned our giant circular wall which would enclose the total area of 31,415 blocks to attempt to prevent unwanted players getting in. We wanted a wall which would not only be functional, but suit the style of our build, and yet again began building, this time a lot quicker to beat the rush to the core the other players were started to try to achieve. The first line of defence was finished, and as we were wandering our grounds, looking at our hard work, all of Pest Control was proud of what we had accomplished together. One day, however, the SC project was inspecting the core when he was greeted by a player named Gendi12. Who was he, and how had he got past our walls, as he was still only level 1? The postman, the SC project, and myself greeted him and asked him how he breached our defences. Gendi was an innovative player and had got through our walls with the items he had spawned with. Every new player knows when you join Core Journey, you spawn with a wooden boat and pickaxe, and he had used his boat to its full potential to glitch himself through the half-block gap in our wall. It was safe to say we were impressed. This was a flaw we had not even considered. Not only this, but Gendi wanted to help us as much as he could. Although only being level 1, he could not build in the core, so he helped us in any way possible. Firstly, he worked on the sheep, spending hours shearing and obtaining us stacks upon stacks of wool. Once we had more red wool any gang would ever need, he began fishing in our lakes, offering us all the loot. In return for this, we paid diamonds, lapis and quartz, levelling them up in a couple of days. The next major change to the server was something none of us ever expected, and nor were we ready. The server admin, Alira, was going to change the XP required to reach the core to half of what it previously was. Before the core was zone 60, with this new change this would be reduced to 30, meaning players could get to the core in half the time. In a panic we finished the final line of defence, a wall of lava, and waited for the first players to arrive. 